So go ahead and snap it. <laughs> Boom, look at that. It's not, Eddie didn't even put much on there. You heard the crack on that. Do it again. <laughs> Good. Now notice what's going on, guys. Your boy, Coach Anthony, of course, none other than Fast Eddie Chambers. And today's video, how to snap your jab. This is a very important video and a video that was inspired by one of the people in my private community, Coach Anthony 2.0. And just to give you a quick rundown on what it is, it's basically me getting a little bit more deeper and working with people personally who want me to put together plans for them, help them with their boxing journey, help them navigate through the courses. There's a private community. We have daily messaging. It's, it's a really, really dope group. If you're interested in it, you can always book a call with me. The link description will be below. But it was snapping the jab, and there were several people in the community that were having issues snapping the jab. And it's funny because this isn't just an issue in my private community. I owned the gym for many years, and a lot of people have problems snapping the jab and learning how to snap your punch. Me and Eddie were actually talking behind the scenes. It's actually kind of like not the easiest thing to explain, right? It's really not. Like, it's, it's not one of the easiest things to teach. It's kind of something that happens naturally over time doing things the right way, right? So what we're going to do is basically go over the jab real quick. Something as simple as just reviewing it so we can go ahead and get that snap. So let me grab the mitts. I'm basically going to, well, before I, before I have one of the best jabbers in the history of boxing throw a jab on these mitts, right? I'm going to do my own little demonstration of it. But what we want is when we snap that punch, we don't want to push, right? Like that's kind of like a pushing technique or you'll see guys just like keep their hand out there a little bit longer than it needs to be. And I think that's part of what takes away the snap, kind of like that pushing right? We want that whop. We want that snap, right? We want to turn that hand over, right? We, we want good form and technique. And you'll learn over time that when you do that, you'll start to see that jab come out properly. So I have Eddie get into a stance. Now, again, this is another issue that I'm inspired by. I'm noticing a lot of people when they're throwing their jab, Eddie, they're starting with their hands already kind of in this position. So they're putting their jab out there like this. I don't know, have you noticed that with some yeah, of the I people? See, I see some you know what I mean? Where we want to rotate. We want, you know, I, I made a video a long time ago on pouring out a cup of water. I've done this before where you're just pouring out a cup of water, right? What's going on guys? So I'm gonna teach you how to throw a jab with a cup. You can see I got the water in the cup. I'm gonna hold the cup. Okay, and we're gonna pour it out. Okay, and that's the same way as throwing a jab. You pour out the cup of water. Your thumb is up, and by the time you're done with your jab, it's over. That's very important to get that snap. Okay, that's very important. So we're gonna have Eddie demonstrate that real quick. I don't know why I'm putting on both mitts when I only need one, but <laughs> just natural habit. All right, so go ahead and snap it. Boom, look at that. It's not, Eddie didn't even put much on there. You heard the crack on that. Do it again. Good. Now notice, notice the full extension, okay? That's very important. You're going to get that full extension. You're going to feel the snap. Now the snap is going to come from the shoulder. You're going to feel some of it here in the elbow. You're going to hear, uh, you're going to feel it on the inside of your shoulder too. It's kind of like, you're going to feel it in all these different areas of your upper body when you go ahead and pop the jab. This is just the results of doing things the right way. Another way I can explain it is this. How do you knock a guy out? What's the secret to knocking a guy out? For me, it's him not seeing the shot. That's one. But it's also punching through. You know what I mean? Snapping your shot. Yeah, but okay. But let me, let me try to rephrase this. Can you predict when you're going to knock somebody out? No, not really. You can't really predict it, right? It's the results yeah. of doing things the right way. So basically, what I'm trying to say is if you do things the right way, good things happen. Basically, so now Eddie's gonna go ahead and throw his jab the right way, and uh, he's gonna snap it. Wow, nice. Do it again. Wow. Woo, do it again. Wow. Okay, now let's face the camera one more time. Well, go ahead, just snap it to the camera. Again. Woo, you hear that? You hear that? Woo. Good, do it again. <laughs> do it again, do it again. All right, now, can you see the camera like if he was to rotate it? Can you see the rotation on the camera when he does it? Do it again. Do it slow, Eddie. Okay, you see where it starts and where it ends? You see where it ends? Thumb downs, now start it over. Thumb up, very important guys. 
Guys, don't overlook this. You have to do this to get the snap. Okay, do it one more time. Again, again, and there you go, guys. That's how you snap a jab. Work on it, work your fundamentals. You bring the hand out and you bring it back. Another mistake you don't wanna do, time. I see, I was gonna end the video, but we're gonna keep it going, all right? Don't leave your arm out, all right? Don't do one of these where you hold your measuring stick out too long. You see what I'm saying? Pause, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna, you don't wanna do that, okay? What you wanna do. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what we want, <laughs> what we want to do is we want to bring the hand back as quick as we released it. All right, let's do it again. Bam. Woo! Now do it again. See? Yeah, you better bring that hand back. You better bring that hand back, or you're gonna get cracked. All right, guys. Go to the website, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com. Book a call if you're interested in working with me personally. If not, you still have the opportunity to go ahead and grab all of our masterclass courses that Eddie Chamber features on, 90% of them. And we go over a lot of this stuff and we talk about a lot of this stuff. And you can save a whole lot of time by going right to the website and grabbing something like that or booking a call with me, man. And uh, you already know, Boxing Life.